Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and today I am very excited. I'm gonna be reacting to a guide from One Us. This is a detailed instruction guide to One Us 2021. <laughs> you might think this is random because I haven't reacted to One Us in a long time, but, but I listen to them all the time. Like literally every single day. I don't know if I've said this anywhere, but Luna, was my favorite title track in 2021. Like out of every single group that, well, yeah, I think Luna's my favorite. It's like, it's at least in the top three if it's not my favorite. I love Luna. I listen to that pretty much every day. And I kind of know a little bit about One Us, but I still struggle with some of the members' names. I don't know anything about their personalities. And for me, I've just been listening to their music. I feel like it's time that I learn about the group. I know that this guide was released in January of 2021, so it's like a year and a couple months old, so it's not going to be as up to date as it could be, but that's okay. This is the guide that I've seen a lot of other people react to, so this is the one I'm going to do. I'm excited. I do have a One Us playlist if you want to see my previous One Us reactions. I've reacted to I think all of their title tracks. So check that out. And I'm excited. My bias is, I mean, it depends on the day, I think. Um, I started off as a Edo bias and I love him. He's super handsome. I love his voice. Juan Wung kind of came in and wrecked me and like stole the bias spot. But then sometimes Edo like still is the bias sometimes. And then on the last couple comebacks, Raven has kind of been like, wrecking hard and then con he is like very majestic and very i love him i don't even know him i literally don't know anything about his personality but i can just tell i can just tell con he is like the nicest person i actually think is he the leader of the group i think he might be the leader of the group um yeah so i don't know like all of these little things about them i don't know their personalities i don't know anything about raven or soho um I think those are their names. But yes, I'm excited to learn. Let's go. All right, let's go. A detailed instruction guide to One Us 2021. Come and learn about One Us. I love that song. A One Us pronounced One Us is a South Korean boy group under RBW Entertainment. Wait, I don't think I know this song in the background. The fandom name is Two Moon, One Us X Two Moon. Six members in the group, Raven, Soho, Edo. Oh, what was that tattoo? He's got like a, what is that on his bosom area? Looks like a scorpion or a spider. Kon he Fan Wung. I don't know how, Sion, Shion? Sion? The group debuted January 2019, Valkyrie. Ugh, that's a bop. Ah. That's a great song. They continued to release the following comeback. Twilight. Hey. Lit. One of my favorites. I reacted to that and also the Taekwondo performance of that. Incredible. Song written easily. Very beautiful. Road to Kingdom, okay. I haven't seen that. Oh, 
They earned their title Stage Geniuses, where they demonstrated their performance skills, messages, and storytelling. Co okay, see, the storyline is, like, over my head. I know there's a storyline. I know, like, vampires, I think, maybe, and, like, people are getting shot with, like, machine gun. Listen, I don't understand the storyline. I'm not good at storylines. Warriors Descendant. School violence and bullet. Aww. Okay, so they went on Road to Kingdom and they were like using that platform for something. They weren't just trying to win an award show. They were trying to like... I love that. Okay. I think the fandom is a little bit on the younger side as well, but I mean... Music doesn't really have an age, but uh, the fact that they're going out of their way to talk about school bullying is pretty cool. I just reacted to that song, Infinite. Come back home. Ugh. Connects all their music videos. Celestial themes, mythology, and supernatural vampires. My favorite. To be or not to be. Oh, yeah. That's the one where they all got shot. And I got triggered. <laughs> I was not ready for the violence, and I was like, oh my god. No diggity, yep. That was amazing. I think they're using B-sides for, like, the background music, and they all sound like bops. RBW vocals, yep. Yes! Even when having audio issues, the music stopping during their debut show. <laughs> the music stopped during their debut stage. That's not a good omen. Uh, they kept singing and showing their live vocals. Yes! Yes! <laughs> They said this is not going to be an Ashley Simpson situation. They kept singing. I have reacted to One Wee a couple times. I like them. Yes, they're two very different groups. Yes. Oh, they have a show together. Okay. That's got to be old. Yes, let's get to know the members. Ugh. Raven is that member for me that, like... I want to say he's probably going to be, like, a wrecker. I know these terms are kind of weird, but... Raven is, every time he comes on the song, it's amazing. Like, Raven's parts are typically my favorite parts of the song. It's usually like Raven, Huan Wung. It's always hype when he comes on. He's so, he's got, he's just got this energy I love. And he's very handsome and he keeps getting more handsome. So... <laughs> The eldest member, okay. I would not have guessed that. He was the trainee for five years at several companies, including... He almost debuted with Victon, which I'm not super familiar with, but I think I have reacted to them before. 
He won second place in JYP's 2014 auditions. That's amazing. JYP lost one with him. Auditioned at a particular company 50 times, showing his perseverance and determination to become an idol. Hey. Mama Moo. Yes, we love a songwriter. Hey. Oh. That's from a SoundCloud. Is this like an unreleased, like a demo? Has a SoundCloud since pre debut where he. Okay. I didn't know. He's. Maybe he's a producer too? Listen, talent is sexy. Oh. Yeah, I haven't really listened to any One Us B sides yet. Pacifist with a soft personality. Aww, very affectionate with his members. Attacking them with kisses. <laughs> See, I thought I Ido, um, I think I'm pronouncing that right. I thought he would be the oldest just because he's got this old soul energy. He's big, he's tall. He just seems very mature. Now, I don't know their personalities yet, so who knows? Maybe he's not mature at all. <laughs> I don't know, but I would have guessed that him or Konhi would be the oldest. <laughs> Raven is greasy with a shout. Oh, no. <laughs> I wonder if he gets along with Moonbeal. Wait, I want to hear how he pronounced his name. Shion. Okay. Oh, he's the soul of the group. Oh, there's no official leader? Aww. Wait, who's who's Dongju? Okay, so he's sentimental. He loves his members. He does chill live streams. Yes, Bob Ross. <laughs> wow, that's good. He's going to end up like drawing the album artwork. Fashion designer. Okay. Oh. 
Maybe you want to see. Maybe that's a girlfriend. Oh no. Animal lover. Sunny. Oh my gosh, that dog. He's cute. Ugh. That's like the perfect sized dog too. Cat person, the same. What's the, why is the tongue out? Alright, so, so ho. His birth name legally changed from Lee Gunman? June 7th, main vocal. I just forgot how to read, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's the one with the abs. He's the one with the abs, isn't he? He's the one with the abs when in the music video and like, I remember when that came out and I watched all of the, I reacted to it, but I also watched all the reactions and people died, so. <laughs> First male trainee. So wait, RBW must have been Mama Moo to start with. Smooth vocals. Wait, is this a solo? Oh yeah. Please come back. Yeah. Ugh, handsome. <laughs> Rapper. Get it! Does he have a rap? Like in the songs, does he have a rap? Because that would even confuse me more. Hey. Very playful. Oh. <laughs> Happy but aww. Wait, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> so they're very affectionate. <laughs> uh, they're very comfortable with each other. <laughs> oh no, they thought he farted. <laughs> There's a smell. Stop. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna. Re okay, I see how he got the abs. Okay, got it. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so he's giving me the most, like, <laughs> boyfriend energy. Oh. <laughs> okay, so he's graceful, but also clumsy. 
How's that even happen? Introvert, love that. Hamster is exhausted. Science major? Wait, what? It's in Korean and I don't... Because of Saho's unexpected science attack, round one is invalid because they didn't understand what he was talking about. Okay, he's smart. <laughs> oh my God, that's a mood. Okay, I would be, I would be Xion. Sion, Xion. Girl, bye. <laughs> Pepe? Isn't that like a meme? I'm too old to, to know what that is, but I think it's a meme. <laughs> oh my god. Aww. Yeah, so they don't really have an official leader. They don't really have... Oh. Kim kyun Hak. So they don't really have an official leader. Um, so I guess they all just kind of take care of each other, which I actually really like that. Okay, so main rapper, vocalist, dancer. So far, I think we've had a June birthday, a July birthday, and a September birthday, I think, if I remember correctly. So, like, they're going to have birthday season where it's a back-to-back -back birthday. <laughs> birthday month. Okay. I probably know the most about Ido. Um, and just that I know that he's very talented. I know that he's, like an incredible singer, a great rapper. I know that he writes. Um, I think he was also an actor. I know that he's incredibly attractive, um, which I think I'll, I think a lot of people get stuck on that and they're just like, oh, he's the sexy one. But then they realize that he's kind of like the ace of the group, I guess. At least in my opinion, he, he just does everything. <laughs> Deep voice, captivating stage presence. But he actually has really big range. Like his vocals, he, he's got a big range. YG. Yep. I did first notice his voice and his visuals. <laughs> it works because his voice is so different than Xion's voice. Um, I apologize. They haven't got to his part in the guide yet. Hopefully they're going to tell me how to pronounce it. Um, but yes. Wait, and then Raven also raps. Wait a minute, we have three rappers. I okay. Four rappers. Right. See, this is a man I could fall in love with. Oh, 
Oh, I remember the bathtub. Yep. Mm -hmm. His voice is so pretty. Sharp dancing skills. Yes. Oh. Okay. Aggressive body roller. Is he the... I, I, I forgot what I was going to say because I just started watching him dance. Um... Is he like the biggest member? Like the tallest? Like he seems like he is the like tallest member. And he seems like, yeah. Yes, I think. Okay. He almost gave up on being an idol. Ooh, betrayed by others. Yikes. Wait, is that Juan Wung? I can't tell. Is that Juan? Okay, but <laughs> how are they? Okay. Bare faced and so handsome. Because they were together at YG. Okay, let's let's stop and give a round of applause to Raven because without Raven, we don't know. Like Ido might have might have given up because I've I've seen this like firsthand. I went I obviously unless you're brand new to my channel, you know I studied music. I went to college and music music industry is incredibly competitive in like in like a very toxic way like obviously there's competition in every job place but like I can't even imagine these like 12 13 14 year old kids just like ugh, gross I'm sure that was awful and what's even worse is I have heard a lot and I've, I've seen it a little bit myself like in America the the children's parents and the parents getting involved in their kids careers and the parents bullying the other young children it's awful so i can't imagine what he went through if he was feeling if he was feeling like so defeated that he just wanted to give up it it's a shame because like in music your talent should be what's important your talent should be what stands out but unfortunately it's a business and I'll, I'm sure the most talented people in the world are just random people sitting in their apartments because they didn't meet the right people. They didn't say the right things. They didn't kick other people down to get ahead. So that sucks. That really sucks. But I'm glad he decided to be an idol because... I can't imagine. I can't imagine. He just needed people to lift him back up. <laughs> Ugh. That's really actually heartwarming. And so relatable. Deep voice may be intimidating, but he's gentle. Ooh! No. <laughs> Shut up, Soho. We're not supporting that. <laughs> I hate egg yo. <laughs> oh, 
but I know they do a lot of cute concept stuff. Wait, who's that? Whose kid is that? Early childhood education major. Oh my god. And he loves being around and talking and taking care of kids. Can't relate. Cannot relate. Children are the devil. <laughs> okay, so he's like the perfect husband. Great. Okay. Yep. And the biceps. Okay. He's like the perfect man. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna be such a good dad. I'm assuming he wants children of his own. I mean, he's got five right there. <laughs> See, I think that's why I thought that maybe he was the leader of the group, but then I also thought that Konhi was the leader, and then I also thought that Soho was the leader. I never once thought Huan Wung was the leader, though. He's he's a mess. I love him. Con He Lee Con He. Another June birthday. Okay. Main vocalist. He is very elegant. He's almost intimidating. The first couple times I saw and reacted to one us i thought that he was intimidating but not like in a bitchy way he just has this like graceful like classy elegant energy and i was just like i just felt like a peasant so <laughs> he gives me like royalty vibes But I'm sure he's going to be like the most humble, down-to-earth person ever, I bet. Ooh, what is this? I don't know this song, but it sounds familiar. And I like the lower end of his vocals this sounds like an american rock song or like it sounds like something i've heard before training evaluation We love a Mamamoo fan. We love a Wean fan. Wow. That's very important. You got to be able to sing with each other. You got to be able to communicate because you can have two incredible vocalists and put them in a group together and they could sound awful together because they're just not communicating. So I love that they're so close. Girl group enthusiast. Oh, I love him. And he's not afraid to shake the hips and the booty. Okay, I see you. Oh god. Okay. Oh, these outfits are everything.
I need, I need to, is this a GIF? Is this a, can we slow-mo this and GIF this and... Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Oh, they're good hair colors. Thank you. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Infectious bright energy. <laughs> Listen, I am Juan Wung. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> it's out there. You gotta hit it. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that just based on his like gracefulness and his stage presence. I thought that he was going to be like chill and calm. He just wanted to like drink an Americana, an Americano and like sit in a coffee shop and and read a book and and chill at home and just talk about political stuff. I don't know. I just thought he was smart and I'm, he is smart, but I wasn't expecting this like bright, bubbly, goofy, booty shaking girl group energy. I love him. Him and Juan Wung together is going to be bad though. He should have a reaction channel. <laughs> people like watching people fall out of chairs. Couldn't be me though. That's just not my personality, but... He's so cute. Oh my god. And he's kind of a spaz, <laughs> which I love. Oh, he has... I, he, maybe he's got his braces removed because I've never noticed that. But you don't often see someone's bottom teeth. Uh, <laughs> wait, is he crying because of them? Or it looks like they were cutting onions. <laughs> There's a bunch of onions in front of him. Of course he's crying. i <laughs> 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 Wait, that's the CEO? Hold on. Wait a minute. CEO, it's not me, another person who's suffering now. Hold on, let me Google this. Is RBW CEO a woman? <clears throat> Sorry, research purposes. Kim Jin Woo. Um, okay, apparently that's a very common name. There's an actor named Kim Jin Woo. Another actor named Kim. Shut up! <laughs> okay. I have to know stuff. 
Okay, I I can't tell. Let me know. Is the RBW um, <laughs> a mess? Is the RBW CEO a woman? Am I misgendering this person? Am I totally reading the situation wrong? Should I already know this? Because like I reacted, I've reacted to a lot of Mama Moo. I feel like I should know this. <laughs> So we've got June, July, August, September. So all of their birthdays are like back to back to back. I think I also consider him the face of the group. I don't know if that's like an official thing, but I consider when I think of One Us, I think of Juan Wung. I don't know. He's always front and center. They always use him for like, uh, like, pro or maybe it's just because I'm focusing on him because he's incredibly attractive. But I think of Lit and Juan Wung. I love his voice. He's one of the best dancers I've ever seen. Pledis Trainee. He was considered for the lineup of seven. Oh, I love Seventeen. Like alt group, I love Seventeen. They're one of my favorite groups ever. I'm so happy he's with One Us. I'm so happy he's with One Us. But I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Performance unit. He's definitely an incredible dancer. But also vocal unit. Like. Listen, Pledis probably just didn't know where to put him. So they were like, mm-mm, mm-mm. So he went to RBW. Vocals, okay. I know there were a few other trainees. Um, I don't know a whole lot about like pre-debut 17, but I know there was, um, I don't remember their names, but I know there was like one or two other members that didn't debut with the group. Wait, I didn't this guide also say that I thought they also said that Raven was the first RBW trainee. <laughs> Produce 101. Oh, wait, they were competing against each other? Taman leather pants. Listen, we should all look up to Taman. I have watched a lot of him dancing. I've seen a lot of him dancing on Twitter. He, he's a... <laughs> okay, Juan Wung is definitely most likely to um, <laughs> do the WAP dance and twerk, in my opinion. But his movement is... Yeah. I think that's why I thought he was the face of the group because those thighs. Ooh. <laughs> that's not why. I, he's not the face of the group because of his thighs. That was just me getting distracted. I thought he was the face of the group because um, I just always look at him. When, he, when they're on stage, when it's a music video, he's just got this presence. He's got this stage presence. He, like, commands your attention. Oh, he's a Sunmi fan. Listen, Sunmi recognized his 
dancing. Hey, oh, I love that song. This is one of my favorite Hwan Mung looks, the lit era. He also choreographs the majority of Wanna's dances. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I've been thinking about it for a minute since they said the Pletus thing. Um, 17 and One Us are... There's a lot of similarities. Like, obviously, their music is different. But they both kind of have that, like, drama kid, theater kid, storyline, vocals. Like, they kind of have that similar type of thing. And every member in the group can, like, sing and dance and probably rap. So I bet a lot of... I bet a lot of One Us fans also love Seventeen because I'm seeing a lot of similarities and I love that. Except, except Seventeen has two Chinese members and I don't, I don't think One Us has any Chinese members, but I don't know yet. You know I'm I like his singing voice too. So show me, show me, show me that you miss me. Underneath the chandelier, we dancing all alone. His voice? There's no reason to hide what we feeling inside right now. See, I've never heard him sing like that. He sounds great. His voice in one of songs, it's typically a little bit more, I don't know the right word. It's usually more like piercing, like Juan Wung's parts always get your attention. I feel like they use him a lot for that, but he's got a really pretty voice too. <laughs> Listen, that's called core strength to be able to sing, have good breath support while hunched over with a hundred pound. He's not, he's probably not that heavy, like a hundred pound man on your back. Maybe 120 pounds. I don't know. He's probably skinny. <laughs> As it goes to him eating. <laughs> oh, he's Spider-Man. Aww. That's cute. Shortest member of the group, okay. I knew that. <laughs> Let's not height shame him. He's cute. I do have a question. If any dancers are watching, because I've always wanted to know this, is it easier to dance if you're shorter? Because I, in my mind, if you're like tall and you've got all these legs and stuff, like when I watch, um, like when I see people like Chaniel and Sehun dancing and dancing incredibly well, I'm just, isn't it harder to dance when you've got like really long legs and you're like a little bit thicker? Isn't it easier to dance if you're more, like fun sized <laughs> like Juan Wong. Let me know. I'm in charge of the height, talent, and <laughs> and aggression. He's aggressive. Yes, flexible. Can you bend for? Do a roll. Oh my god. He is gonna rip his pants. <laughs> Khan, he's like his number one fan. I can already tell. He's just there hyping him up. I love those two. That's probably a ship, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, 
Wait, unfortunately his pants did not rip. We don't want his pants to rip. What? Wait, what is happening? I'm so oh okay it's a I was so confused. <laughs> His face. Wait, who's Elsa? <laughs> I was so focused on his eyebrows, I didn't even realize someone was Elsa. <laughs> Son ja Dong Ju. Okay, so that's Dong Ju. Xion. Listen, I gotta look up how to pronounce this. Hold on. Hold one moment. How to pronounce Xion. The following pronunciation is brought to you by okay, Pronoun.com. No. Mm -mm. Xion. Xion. Okay, I was saying it right. Okay, look at me. I wonder if... Because Sun Dong Ju is definitely a Korean name. I wonder if he took this stage name Xion to attract like Chinese fans, maybe? Or maybe he just liked the name. But like, it's reminding me of like Exo and Schumann. His real name is Min Suk, but he goes by Schumann as. But he was also part of Exo M in China. So that makes sense. I don't know. Let's find out why his name is Xion. He's the Machne. Striking visuals. Latest member to join. And he killed everyone with the long hair. He's still growing and he gets better every time. Is he the member? Because I think when I first started reacting to One Us, I think there was a member that was like on a mental health break or like a hiatus, I think. I think it might have been him. Um, he's a vocalist in the group and has great range. He's also a rapper, I think, right? Yeah, because he raps with the uh, ponytail and the... No diggity and the disrespectful. Yeah. Hey. Hey, G! I need to react to that whole performance because it sounds like they took Girls' Generation G and kind of made it sexy. They changed the key, it sounds like. Oh, okay. I remember that. They're not identical twins, are they? I think they're fraternal twins. Do they look alike? I can't tell, their hair's so different. That makes me want to react to One Wee because he's like the really good, he's like the really good piano player, isn't he? In One Wee. I think he is. 
But then I think they also have another CYA. Isn't he also? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've reacted to one Wii. They've probably had a, a comeback or two since I last reacted. Also, what? what is that ball of hair on the floor? What is that? Oh, I'm so sorry. That's the back of Ido's head, isn't it? Oh my God. No disrespect. I apologize. Hey. Is that the back of someone's head? I can't tell. Listen, I'm not trying to be shady. Sassy, playful. Just surfing on that hoe. <laughs> You're gonna hurt his back. Oh, he's massaging. Oh, nope, that's not his back. <laughs> this group really likes butts, don't they? Like, they've been shaking them, spanking them, shaking them some more. Okay. I love that. I gotta support that. I wonder if there's like a. I always love those videos that are like homosexual moments or moments with no heterosexual explanation. I think Shiny has a couple like that. I love those groups as long as they're not, I love those videos as long as they're not like creepy. Sometimes people make really creepy videos like speculating this member's dating this member or whatever. I don't support that. I think those are dumb. Don't ever assume someone's like gender or sexuality or anything. Um, until they tell you, um, but like as a gay person, I think those like one us gay moments videos are funny. I actually did watch a video like that a long time ago. It was, um, it was like Juan Wung stealing everyone's man or something like that. It was hilarious and I loved it. Cause like I've been sort of following one us for like a year and a half now but I didn't like I don't know why I waited so long huge soft spot for Xi'an Aww. So he's kind of like fatherly towards him because he's the baby of the group. And Ido likes taking care of kids. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it's creepy. I don't know what he is on the left. This is, I think, Sleeping Beauty. I don't know what Xion is, but I like it. That's creepy. And then... <laughs> Wait, I said Xion. I meant Raven. I'm sorry. I meant Raven. I'm pr yeah. This is Raven with the black hat on. I guess this is Xion. No. Can he cook? Oh no. Dalgona coffee. That was really popular a couple years ago, like on TikTok, I think. Not the saxophone. Making soap? Sorry, I'm super thirsty. Is that it? Oh no. Mature, kind heart, and reflective thinker, he often gives fans advice on V lives about his experience and his feelings. 
Do they support the gays? That's all I care about. Are they LGBT allies? I'm pretty sure I've seen things about them being... Yes! There's nothing wrong with worrying. That was too short! Okay, so did I get their names? I think so? Hold on, let me just... Burp, burp, burp. Okay, so this is Konhi on the left, Hwan Wung in the back. I think this is Soho in the middle. On the right is... Uh... Oh my god, Ito's in the back. I think I might sometimes mix up Xion and Soho. I'll get better. Stan won us because they're worth it. Thank you for watching. Okay. Welcome to Two Moon Phantom. I've been here a while. I just... Ugh. I'm so glad I did that. Okay, so... That was my reaction to a detailed instruction guide to One Us 2021. What, it wasn't too outdated. It's about a year old, so it didn't talk about... Um, I feel like they had a lot of comebacks in the past year and a half. Um, it didn't talk about the Luna era or uh, any of the, like, the One Us theater stuff. Like, shut up, ha, go crazy, ha. <laughs> I love that. Oh, my God. Um, so for me, I already said it. One Us is a group that I I kind of have been standing already. Not really. I've been standing their music, their title tracks. I listen to their title tracks all the time. But today I just, I decided I wanted to react to this guide because I ended up on YouTube. I watched, I watched Form of Therapy. Um, they're a big YouTuber. I'm sure you know who they are. Um, they did a reaction channel to Luna and I watched their reaction and it just made me really happy. And they said it was one of us's best title track ever. And I don't know why, but when PD, um, the show producer for form of therapy, um, when they, when they said that my heart just I got like the tingly feeling, you know, when your eyes kind of well up and you feel like you might start crying. It's weird. It's weird because I am a reactor. I am a reaction channel, but I watch so many reactions and I started watching reactions years ago to like Blackpink and Twice and a little BTS. Um, and that's kind of how I started. And then the pandemic hit, I started working from home and I was just like, Hey, um, maybe I could just make a reaction channel. Originally, I wanted to talk about like vocal stuff because I went to college for vocal performance and I wanted to do vocal coachy stuff. But then like, it was hard for me to do that because I started getting attached to these groups and I started loving them and I wanted to learn more about them and have like the like Stan experience. So my channel kind of morphed into like what it is today and I probably would be more successful and have more views or whatever if I just did vocal coaching stuff but that's not what I want to do and I'm at a point now where I don't really care about the views as much or really not at all anymore um and I'm just going to react to what I want to react to I have reacted to one us in the past I don't think I have a huge like one us following on my channel and it doesn't really matter um, I'm just going to react to this stuff I want to react to, even if it doesn't get as many views. YouTube will send me an email that says this video didn't get very many views, which is rude. <laughs> they always, like the algorithm, they send you emails saying, hey, this video didn't perform as well, blah, blah, blah. Maybe you need to make a better thumbnail. No, the problem is more people need to stand one us and more people need to give these other groups a chance just because they're not like from one of the big three or whatever. 
I love big three artists, of course. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just going to get canceled probably. The point is, I know this video is probably not going to get as many views. I don't care. I'm going to continue reacting to One Us because I love them. So let me know what other One Us stuff you want me to react to. What have I missed? Um, I hope you enjoyed my reaction and I will see you next time. Bye.